Hello students, welcome back to Trendy Achievers channel. In final exam of uh, intermediate, they will be giving 10 very short answers. You should attempt total 10. Here I am giving you the list of uh, all chapters, very important, very short answers. First you prepare this list, then go ahead with the remaining answers also if you are interested. From the first chapter, the living world, only one very short answer will be coming. The important questions of first chapter are, what does ICBN stands for? Here you should abbreviate it and you should write the use of it. Second, the systematics. What is systematics? You should write. And then third one is, um, why are living organisms classified? Why they classified? That you should write. Then what is the growth and the differences between non-living and living organisms? How do we observe? That you should write. Coming to the second chapter, so from second chapter also, uh, only one very short answer will be coming. The important uh, questions of this chapter are the differences between viroids and viruses. You should clear that. Viruses consist of both the nucleic acids as well as uh, protein uh, coat or capsid, but viroids consisting of only DNA or RNA or, uh, or nucleic uh, uh, genetic material, not capsid. Then uh, phycobiont, mycobiont, uh, the uh, terms what they indicate that you should write then heterotrophic bacteria uses like a curd preparation and in antibiotics uh, and uh, that other organisms you should write then use of cyanobacteria in agriculture nitrogen fixation that you should write and um, who proposed plant kingdom classification that is a uh, taker and uh, how many he classified five. In that, what are the eukaryotes except Monera? Remaining all are eukaryotes. And uh, what he used RH we take for the classification that you should uh, prepare. And diseases of mycoplasmas. From third chapter, a science of plants botany. This is very very important chapter for a very short answer. From this also one very short answer will be coming. So, the important questions of this chapter are how the botany, the word, the botany emerged and um, Parasara and uh, uh, the scientist, what uh, what are the books he written, Rikshair Vedan, Krishi Parasaram and what he discussed in that books also you should prepare. And who was the father of botany, Theophastus and he written Historia Plantarum book that you should learn. Why Mendel called as genetic uh, father of genetics that you should prepare and um, who discovered cell and dash book here uh, Robert Hooke and uh, micrographia the book paleobotany fossil plants and its uses you should prepare and the light chains and first vascular cryptogams are called as uh, pteridophytes and the study of that is the pteridology that you should write and amphibians are uh, bryophytes then bryology is the study coming to the fourth chapter from here also one very short answer will be coming uh, so that the differences between antheridium and archegonium antheridium in the sense male organ uh, archegonium female organ and dash food material stored in uh, pheophyce and rhodophyce in pheophyce uh, monitor laminarin and rhodophyce uh, floridian starch fourth chapter the remaining answers are uh, different methods of vegetative propagation, uh, vegetative reproduction in bryophytes and uh, name the gymnosperms which contain mycorrhiza and uh, coralloid root systems uh, respectively. Another one is the who colonized uh, rocks first and uh, which forms peat. And here sphagnum, the peat is the sphagnum and bryophytes called as um, the amphibians of plant kingdom because they need water as well as uh, land. Fifth chapter morphology of flowering plants. From here, um, only one very short answer will be coming. So, you this is the list of very short answers of fifth chapter. Uh, differences between racemos and cymos, and the cup like structure of uh, cyathium, and in which family, Euphobiaceae family, and um, involure of bracts in Euphobiaceae family. Coming to the next answer in this. Um, types of uh, which type of inflorescence found in fig tree and um, so there's uh, bastrophaga visits for laying eczema so the next differentiation between actinomorphic and zygomorphic if the flower shows radial symmetry actinomorphic uh, that we are indicating with the 
place symbol as zygomorphic bilateral symmetry we are indicating with the percentage coming to the epipetalous condition uh, and give an exam we should give an example epocarpus and syncarpus ovary fused ovary will be in a fused and a free condition in this and different placentation what type of placentation is found in the uh, dianthus uh, so here free central placentation uh, is uh, we can see in the dianthus coming to the eighth chapter a very important chapter from, from this two very short answers will be coming so um, only few short and very short answers easily you can prepare no one should leave the very short answers of eighth chapter all you should read they are what is omega taxonomy and uh, who proposed what is the natural system of plant classification and who proposed bentham and hooker if they taken uh, the morphological natural characters for the classification of plants that is natural system of classification the next uh, what is the flora formula of uh, solanum plant it is easy only you prepare well and uh, anther description of allium sepa that means liliaceae family anthers of uh, allium sepa description you should write and the geocorpy this answer actually deleted um, they won't ask this answer and you should you also can prepare the uh, significance of numerical taxonomy that you prepare and coming to the ninth answer only one very short answer will be coming for that you should prepare these many answers um, careful so first answer in first question in the ninth chapter is significance of vacuole in the plant cell what s refers in the ribosome said uh, swedberg unit and sedimentation coefficient so next um, um, mention a single membrane bound uh, organelle which is rich in hydrolytic enzymes that is nothing but lysosome they are called as the suicidal bags of the cell and uh, gas vacuole uh, state their function polysome ribosomes if they fuse together that forms a polysome plays a vital role in the mrna formation or protein synthesis and um, what are the fee what what is the feature of metacentric chromosome based on the um, uh, what is that centromere in the chromosome metacentric submetacentric there are the different types of chromosomes next um, uh, satellite chromosome the extra part we can observe in, in, on the chromosomal structure so next one is the uh, what is middle lamella made up of and its function you should write uh, what is that gram uh, straining uh, what which part of the bacterial cell we are using in the gram straining that is the cell wall amma next one is the which one is not correct that you should find out you read these many answers from ninth chapter in 10th chapter biomolecules one very short will be coming so the, here we should uh, match the bonds here they gave uh, some bonds like ester bond glycosidic bond peptide bond and hydrogen bond we should match it with the following given order so here fats ester bond uh, water hydrogen bond protein peptide bond polysaccharides glycosidic bonds like that we should next in the biomolecules the important answer is um, you should give the examples for each one so amino acids for amino acids uh, glycine alanine valine leucine you can give any of that sugars in the sense glucose fructose mannose ribulose that you can write nucleotides here um, what is that adenine uh, adenylic acid adenylic acid guanylic acid cytidylic acid you can write uh, coming to the fatty acid palmitic acid you can write and um, what constitutes um, of uh, dna are linked by glycosidic bonds that you prepare well next um, uh, here for this answer next alanine and guanine um, guan alanine and gu glycine they are same for some substituent and um, they shows only one difference that is hydrogen and methyl group that structure you should prepare and coming to this uh, answer you should write uh, what they consist of uh, cotton fiber consists of what uh, peeled potato consists of uh, cellulose or starch whatever it may be you should prepare and write next what are the differences between uh, uh, 
like definition what are primary and what are secondary metabolites and examples also you should give from 11th chapter cell cycle and cell division uh, no very short answer and no yes only four mark question will be coming then you no need to prepare if you are very interested you go ahead with this coming to the 13th chapter ecological adaptations only few answers are there uh, here from here also one very short answer will be coming like um, um, examples of plants we should write which tolerate salinity conditions salinity in the sense uh, which tolerate salt conditions next uh, heliophytes and zoophytes uh, which live uh, heliophytes which live under direct sunlight example of uh, opentia and uh, zoophytes which live under shady places like ferns mosses you should give the examples and uh, population and community if only one species present uh, uh, that is population if we observe that more pop i mean more different species of populations like community should properly prepare and write and uh, coming to the hydrophytes and mesophytes and xerophytes uh, who classified that you should write and you should first define communities and coming to the last one why hydrophytes shows reduced xylem you should write and moreover students for very short answers you should give two to four points that you should write more than four or six you should not write so this is the very important information for you so i hope these uh, very short answers helps you a lot to prepare well your final exam all the very best students